I was in the church someday with terrific back pain that has followed me for several weeks. Ah, when I want to sit down, I sit down with care. I want to sit down and start with care. And I'll be praying for the sick. Man, I got back to my hotel room that night. I opened the window. I said, back ache. That's the window. Go out now. And I sat down immediately. Like a child of a king. These things, they hear you. They hear you. So you don't know. They hear you. Sickness hears you. They hear you. Diseases hear you. They fear you. But you won't speak. That's why they stay there. Poverty hears you. They can hear. They know the time to go. But you are not speaking so they won't go. God cannot lie. So you have to be committed to speaking faith-filled word. Faith-filled word. You can't speak the word that you are not filled with. You have to be filled. Be rich. Colossians 3.16. Be rich in the word. Be rich. Your storage determines what you bring out. Your storage. If you don't have water in your water tank, water can flow. I can't blame you the way you are speaking. It's because your heart is not filled. Be filled with the word. To speak the word. God has given you a mouth by which you can take authority. The words of your mouth puts you in charge. Luke 21, 15. God said, I've given you the gift of a mouth. And thank God, mouth is personal. You get worried the way I speak. Why are you worried? Your mouth is yours, my own is mine. I say my own, say your own. I say I can't be sick if you like. Say you can be sick. You drop the one, you take the one I've dropped. And add it to you, the one you have. What's your problem? What's, what's bothering you? I say I can't be sick and you are so bothered. That's what I don't like about this church. How can somebody be saying, is he not human being? Don't be bothered. If you say what I say, you will see what I see. Many years ago, I was preaching like this, and one wonderful fellow Baptist man sat on the gallery. He said, nonsense, I can be sick. Meanwhile, he's on three different afflictions, and he takes his drug every eight hours. His medicine is in a can, a can, to tell you how many there are. He got back home that day to take the afternoon drug. He had that voice, I cannot be sick. <laughs> He said, okay, let's leave this drug. Eight hours passed. One day passed. One week passed. One month passed. He came to the altar to testify. So I cannot be sick. <laughs> Say it now. <laughs> it's not me who says so. He said, let the weak, who is truly weak. God knows that your, it is factual, factual that you are weak. But faith says, ignore the fact, speak the truth. When you speak the truth of scripture, it is like lying factually. But God said, that's the truth. Joel chapter 3, verses 10 and 11, so that one thing I'm speaking out of imaginary mind. Let the weak say, I'm strong. Look at that. The later part of it. Let the weak. I'm not saying that you are not weak factually. I'm not saying that the doctors didn't see what they saw. No. I'm not saying that what they put on the machine is different from what they saw. They saw it. They saw it. But you say the truth. I am strong. One of our pastors, expecting the miracle of a baby, himself and his wife, they went to Germany. And the machine said, the man, spam count is zero. The man said to the wife, let's go home. Their machine has problem. <laughs> From there, they had their child. Let the weak say, I'm wrong. Let the poor say. Hi, guys. This is Emeka Anslem, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. I just want to say thank you for always coming back and back again to my channel to watch my content. I really hope that they've been a medium of great blessings to you. All right, let's get back to the video. Is only for a moment. Put your hand in your pocket and move like a rich man. Behave it to become it. That's how I behave it to become where I am right now.
Before I knew the meaning of million, people have been coming to me to borrow money. And when they come, can you borrow me one minute? I say, why not? Why not? Come back tomorrow. <laughs> come back tomorrow. And they come. Whatever I have, it may not be up to one million. If it's 100,000, I put it on the check. Because I know I'll be writing, I'll be carrying money that fiscal bank cannot carry. So let's put it on the check. I've been writing checks since the days of 5,000. <laughs> Practicing what I will be doing. Now it is no longer in uh, five figures, not in six figures. It times up. What am I saying? Your mouth defines your life. Your mouth. Thank God for our governor here, Caleb. Caleb and Joshua said, we are well able. The tiniest, the smallest. How do I know that they are the most insignificant? Because 10 people stood against them. Say, said, shut up. Where were, we, were you when we were writing the communique? We say we are not able to. We say there are giants here. You say we are able. We are able for what? These young men refused to shut down. We are well able. And God said, your mouth will take you there. See, it's not your leg that takes you to greatness. It's your mouth. There are many physically great people, great credentials, great oration, but they cannot get there because their mouth is not saying so. Listen to this. Your utterance is the fuel to your motion. Your utterance is the fuel to your motion. You, once you start speaking, you start moving. Once you stop speaking, you stop moving. People are stagnated, not because of opposition, but because they are not establishing their position with their utterance. Say loud, amen. amen. Thou shalt say to the mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea. It shall obey you. Mark eleven twenty three. 23. Jesus spoke. Hear this very well. When you speak, speak openly. Speak loudly. Speak boldly. What you don't speak openly, God cannot confirm publicly. Or what you don't speak publicly, God cannot confirm openly. Speak. Jesus said, fig tree, you are dead. And his disciples heard him. Mark eleven twenty two. 22. They heard. They heard. Chapter uh, 11, verse 13 and 14. They heard. You, nobody will eat from you again. And they heard. And Peter said, hey, the fig tree which you caused yesterday had died. Jesus said he died yesterday, not today. You are waiting for the tree to translate into yellow from green. But since that time I caused it, he died. Don't wait for sign. Stand by what you have said. He died. He died. He said, therefore, have faith in God. Have the God kind of faith. What is the God kind of faith? Romans 4, 17. The God kind of faith is the one that calleth the things which be not as though they were. Call it, call it. When service one day like this, a woman who had as last child, the first and last child, 16 years ago, she heard me say, go and start announcing your child is here. And she went announcing, including to husband's relations who were looking down at her. And they said, where, where, where is the sign? She said, wait now, it's not nine months. By third month, Belay, they come out. Six months, belly don't come out bigger. Nine months, the child don't manifest. Speak loud. Speak clear. Speak against your positions. Speak to the weather. As a young pastor, one day, I got back to town. And the town where I was then, you can't see rain anyhow. I asked my wife, has it rained? They said, no. I stood up. I said, anywhere you are tomorrow, anywhere you are tomorrow, watch it. Within 24 hours, there shall be rain here. Ah, after the service, the deacons called me and said, sir, this kind of statement should have been made amongst us. <laughs> Not in the open. Meanwhile, there was a young girl in the assembly who believed to a point of getting back home and told the father, our pastor said there will be rain tomorrow. 20 hours exactly after the declaration, Showers of heaven came. You bother too much who is listening to you. 
The worst that can happen with people around you is to mock you. And the good news is that as they are mocking you, God is making you. And it will interest you until they mock you, God will not make you. It is ridicules of men that turns to miracles from God. I'm saying it. You can be mocking me. God is making me. You can be ridiculing me. God is miraculizing it. Please permit my grammar. <laughs> you know, the essence of grammar is communication. Once you understand what I'm saying, the grammar is correct. So God is miraculizing it. If you are interested in writing the uh, dictionary for me, you can put it there. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus saw the storm. He said, peace be still. Stop observing the storm. Start speaking to the storm. Storm, I say, stop. Be still. Crisis in the night. Peace be still. Your wife is dying. Peace be still. Your child is rushed to the hospital. Peace be still. Stop crying. A woman came to church one day. The husband was dying. He said, oh, you will not die. You want to die, who will take care of me? Carry the man to the... <laughs> I like that. Very gracious woman. Not die. If you die, who will take care of me and the children? You will do well. I say you will do well. Faith must be expected to function. Your expectation. Listen to me. God doesn't answer what you say. He answers what you expect from what you say. Your expectation shall not be cut off. Proverbs 24, 13, your expectation shall not be cut off. Your expectation shall not be cut off. Ephesians 3, 20, God is able to do exceeding abundantly above what you ask and what you think, what you imagine, what you expect. Expectation has to do with imagination and thinking. Think the answer. Think the solution. Imagine it. Imagine it. Before I ever rode my first car, I rode it in my bedroom. <laughs> Calling the things which be not as though they were. Behaving it, thinking it, imagining it. Imagining it. Imagine the day you will sign one million check, ten million check. Of your tight, imagine it. It's happening for us. It will soon happen for you. Be full of expectations. Say. Like